Hello everybody and welcome to another ball review here on the channel, this time for the Buffalo Ball in the Buffalo Bundle and we're gonna take a closer look in just a bit, make sure that you do hit the thumbs up button, also subscribe to the channel and turn on the notifications. If you do want to increase your win percentage in tour play, go and get our exclusive tour text guides and start winning more, or you do go and get our ultimate tournament guides to improve your tournament game do like more than 2000 other players are doing for may to get one of our ultimate tournament guide packages so the buffalo ball my friends grab the bull by the horns uh, with the buffalo ball power five backspin boost five side spin four and wind resistance one stampede stamped stamp i don't know really uh, bleh, yeah down the fireball with the legendary power to clutch your victory and this is a very I, I'm, I don't know if I'm gonna call it weird combination or whatever. It's super strange with the backspin boost. So I would say like this, I don't think that the backspin boost will have much value at all. Maybe for a few players out there, but the backspin boost five, when will we use this uh, at any point in tournament? For, like in the, the, the um, goal with a ball that you have wind one or wind zero, is to drive long. It's not to have it to stop abruptly. Sure, it might be in the future that you have a green where it's very narrow and we do just want to get the ball to stay. I mean, fine, then it is what it is. But I I do not see that in the game at the moment. But I'm gonna start at the uh, tournament after we're checking the needle. It's a plus three. I need to have said as well that this is not a ball that has the proper size. It's a smaller ball, which makes it harder to center. I give this one a 4 out of 10 in tournament. This is a Berserker uh, on steroids, uh, meaning that it has side spin 2. A Zerk has side spin 2, and this has a side spin 4. It also has a plus 3 overpower needle, which, I mean, are good things to have a little bit more of. Uh, the side spin 4 will come handy on a few occasions. The plus 3 obviously is good, but it's going to be very, very few times we cannot use a Berserk and have to use this type of ball. To bring extra value sure there was one hole in the last tournament uh, of the wild west um the where this ball could actually be very useful we had a slightly slower needle as it has a win one but those occasions will come very rare in my opinion so looking at it from a general perspective uh, based on the fact that we do have a berserker ball as well which can be uh, can get for free in uh, in the golden shot and also we do have uh, the smaller size of the ball and then the backspin boost that has literally no meaning. I mean, I give this one a 4 out of 10. I see some value for those of you that do play expert or do play pro that might not have that many berserkers or might want to boost up a little bit and have this ball. Maybe go with the smallest or the second smallest pack. I mean, if you're not a general spender on balls, I would not spend a dime on, on this ball, uh, actually. I got the smallest pack on all my three master accounts just to have that little, what can I say, have, uh, have the possibility to play with it if a situation occurs where this ball will be essential, which, once again, I don't think it will be. When it comes to tour play, I mean, I rate this one 3 out of 10. We do not have any, like the backspin boost 5 could have a little bit of value here, but at the same time the wind 1 absolutely kills it uh, when it comes to uh, having a, such a much higher win. And then together with the power 5 does not help in my opinion at all. So no, uh, no high rating for this ball and I would love to hear your thoughts about the buffalo ball, but I think it's, at least for me, I'm saving my money. Let's take a look at the needle speed and the ball centering. And actually, let's take a look at the ball centering. You will notice here now that this is a smaller ball, uh, which is never good. I mean, we are dependent today, and you hear me talk about it a lot, that, you know, center the ball is truly a, such an important thing to not have any accidental um, curl um, or overpower or underpower. I mean, the, to have that said in the end, the design of the ball is... Brilliant though, I, I really love the design to give a little positive before we end up here. So thank you so much for watching the ball review for the Buffalo Ball. Once again, comment in the comment section below if you do um, and not have any questions, but uh, with your thoughts about this ball. Also sign up on patreon.com slash golf Tommy for the best guides on the market. Thank you so much and I wish you the best of luck in your golf clash game.